Everyone needs to stop jumping from browser to browser hoping to find the perfect one. The best browser is usually the one that comes built into your system. Yes, it's Edge. Although Edge was thought of to be just a browser to download other browsers a few years ago, it's actually very decent now and I would say even better than Chrome. It's fast, looks beautiful and has many useful features. In this video, I'll show you how to customize and declutter Edge, take advantage of its features and make it faster and more secure. Customize and declutter. Right click on the toolbar, click customize toolbar and disable anything you don't need. Disable the show tab actions menu, show favorites bar only on new tabs, disable the home button, set the forward and extensions buttons to show automatically, disable the favorites button, the apps button, the screenshot button, the learning toolkit button and the share and feedback button. You can access all of these features in the main menu. So only keep what you absolutely will need. Here are some shortcuts to access toolbar buttons. Ctrl H to access history. Ctrl J to access downloads. And Alt F to access the main menu. And then you can click any underlined character and it will open. For example, if I click the underlined D, it will open downloads. Sidebar. The sidebar can be useful for quickly accessing web apps like ChatGPT, performing quick searches or use drop to share files and messages between your devices with edge installed however if you find it distracting you can disable it along with the copilot button open sidebar disable always show sidebar go into copilot settings and disable show copilot and also disable show shopping notifications to get rid of this button disable the show sidebar button you can still open the sidebar by using ctrl shift e which will open search. Use Ctrl Shift period to open Copile. Clean home page. Edge's home page is horrible by default. There is ads everywhere and it's super distract. To give it a clean look, open page settings and disable everything. I like to keep show weather turned on, but you might want to disable it. To personalize your new tab page further, add your own wallpaper or choose from these built-in ones. To make Google your home page, open start home and new tabs, enable the home button and enter this URL. You can also load Google when Edge starts by selecting open these pages, add a new page and enter the same URL. Now when you click the home button, it will open Google search, but this doesn't change the new tab page. To reduce the amount of context menus that appear on Edge, open appearance, Scroll down under context menus, open the hover menu and disable it. This is the hover menu by the way. You can access it by hovering on an image and then hovering on this visual search and it will appear. You can also disable visual search when you right click on an image by disabling this option. Improve privacy and security. Open privacy search and services. Enable tracking prevention, set it to balanced. Enable always use strict tracking prevention when browsing in private. Choose if you want to clear data every time you close the browser. You can choose from these options. Enable send do not track requests. Disable allow sites to check if you have payment methods saved. Disable optional diagnostic data by opening Windows settings. Disable this option. Disable search service improvement. Disable personalization and advertising. If you download apps from the internet, you might want to disable block potentially unwanted apps because Microsoft Edge often reports false positives. Enable enhance your security on the web, set to balanced and enable this option. Enable Microsoft Edge Secure Network, which offers you free VPN after you sign in. Disable save time and money with shopping in Microsoft Edge. Disable notifications of related things with Discover and disable save screenshots of sites for history. Microsoft Edge offers a built-in password manager, but I recommend Bitward, which you can use for free. It even supports autofill. Modernize the UI. Go to appearance, enable try the new look and feel of Microsoft Edge. Open a new tab, search for Edge, colon, forward slash, forward slash, plugs. Search for Edge visual, enable show Windows 11 visual effects in browser and make round tabs feature available. Also search for Fluent and enable Fluent scroll bars and click restart. Go back to settings and turn on show Windows 11 visual effects in browser and restart again. You can see now the edge looks much better. For a more customizable and minimalistic start page without Microsoft ads, install 
the bonjour start page open extensions click manage extensions and enable it from here click keep changes you can customize it however you want from these settings add the search bar and quick links if you want a more customizable scroll bar download the modern scroll extension you can customize it however you want from these settings you can even browse the table of contents by hovering on the scroll bar and when it's not needed it will hide itself performance open system and performance disable startup boost because it doesn't have a significant effect and disable continue running background extensions and apps when microsoft edge is closed enable graphics acceleration efficiency mode save resources with sleeping tabs and fade sleeping tabs you can also enable the performance detector to improve download speeds use a download manager i recommend motrix browsing and navigation split screen use split screen to compare websites products or have a tab for research and another for note taking drag links from one screen to another for quick comparison adjust screen sizes using the slider between tabs you can change how links behave in split screen you can set it so that links that you click on your left tab will open in the right tab by choosing this option you can set links you click on any of tabs will open in the same tab so if you click on a link on the right it will open on the right and if you click a link on the left it will open on the left you can split screen horizontally and you can swap top and bottom tabs to exit a split screen click the x icon reduce your time spent opening tabs by simply right clicking the tab and clicking pin tab install websites as a web app open the main menu go to apps and click install this site as an app name it and click install now it will open and behave as a separate app on your taskbar smart find the updated ai powered find on page suggests related matches and synonyms making it easier to locate information even if you misspell a word you can see if i type sleeping window it will recognize that i'm looking for sleeping tabs or if i type preferences it will suggest settings personalize and favorites to improve reading when dark mode is enabled download the dark reader extension you can automate dark reader to change its mode based on your system color scheme by activating this setting and you can keep the native dark theme on websites by enabling this setting search engine shortcuts open settings go to privacy search and services scroll down to services address bar and search and under manage search engines you can set shortcuts for example for youtube i will change youtube search shortcut to yt now when i type yt in the search bar and press space whatever i search now will open in youtube you can even set google's shortcut to g and you can start searching google by typing g and space address bar shortcuts bar control k to start a bing search query and control l to highlight the url and the address bar to copy or edit and control enter to add a www dot before your search and a dot com after to make scrolling smoother type edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and enable windows scrolling personality elastic over scroll and boost screen refresh rate when scrolling additionally use these scrolling shortcuts spacebar to scroll down one page and shift spacebar to scroll up one page immersive reader removes clutter like ads from the page you are reading for a cleaner distraction free reading experience easily access this feature by selecting text and choosing open an immersive reader or by using f9 you can also use reading preferences line focus to highlight specific lines on the page as you scroll read aloud listen to content in your preferred language and natural sounding voices and accents by clicking ctrl shift u latest power toys update improves a feature i bet you didn't know existed or by right clicking and selecting read aloud magnify images and content for better visibility using the keyboard shortcut ctrl zooming shortcuts ctrl and the plus sign to zoom in and the control and minus sign to zoom out control and zero to go back to default you can even use the scroll wheel with control to zoom in and out to save the current page as a favorite use control d 
to mute all sounds on the page use ctrl m and to reload the page use ctrl r pdf reader use the built-in pdf reader in edge to view edit and annotate pdfs directly open files with ctrl o screen capture capture and annotate screenshots effortlessly using ctrl shift and s you can even capture a full page screenshot for higher quality 4k screenshots open developer tools by pressing f12 toggle device emulation change this to 3840 by 2160 then click the three dots and capture full size screenshot and it will be downloaded in your downloads folder you can see how high quality this is organization profiles creating different profiles within edge is ideal for separating personal and work related browsing select manage profile settings then add profile follow the prompts to set up and customize your new profile settings this keeps your browsing history bookmarks and other data organized separately Creating a new profile gives you another edge icon in the task, one for the work profile and one for the personal profile. Use collections in Microsoft Edge to organize tabs for specific purposes and easily access them later. Start by clicking the collections icon to create and manage collections where you can save web pages, images and links for future reference across various activities such as shopping, trip planning and research. Quickly add items by dragging them into your collections and include notes for reminders or lists. Save images directly by hovering over or right clicking them. Use Ctrl Shift Y for quick access to your collections. For example, I can save these icon websites to access whenever I am looking for icons. Workspaces allow you to separate tasks and projects into dedicated windows. Easily create and manage them from the workspaces menu, each with its own tabs and favorites that are automatically saved and updated. To move all tabs into a workspace, open the workspaces menu and select move all tabs to a new workspace. Alternatively, right click on any open tab and select move all tabs to a new workspace. Collaborate with others. Everyone in your group can work on a project or task together and chat directly from the workspace toolbar. To invite others to your workspace, select the invite menu, copy the link and share it. Organize tabs within workspaces using tab groups. Auto named tab groups. Auto tab grouping organizes your tabs into AI generated groups, making tab management easier. Ask Copilot to group your tabs or open the tab menu and click organize tabs. To display your tabs in the alt tab menu, open settings Go to system, multitasking, and under show tabs from apps, when snapping or pressing alt tab, change it to 3, 5, or 20 most recent tabs. I will go for 3. Now you can see that edge tabs show up in here. By the way, if you hover on a window in the alt tab menu and you hit the delete key, it will close that window. To archive tabs I might want for later, I use an extension called OneTab. It lets you reorganize your tabs and name your groups. You can send all tabs to one tab, send only this tab to one tab, send all tabs except this tab, send tabs on the left, send tabs on the right, and send to a named tab group. If you click on the button, it will send all tabs. When you have multiple edge windows open, naming them helps identify each one quickly. Go to the hamburger menu, select more tools, and choose name this window. Now on to tab shortcuts, shift click to select multiple tabs and double click to close a tab, but you need to enable it in settings, appearance and enable use double click to close browser tabs, use ctrl T to open a new tab, ctrl W to close the current tab, ctrl shift T to reopen the most recently closed tab, ctrl N to open a new window and Control shift n to open a new and private mode window. Navigating tabs. Use Control tab to go to the next tab on the right. Control shift tab to go to the next tab to the left. Control 1 to 8 to go to a specific tab. And Control plus 9 will switch to the last tab. Writing tools. Composer. Effortlessly transform your ideas into polished drafts with Composer. Saving time and ensuring the right tone across your online writing tasks. The editor in Microsoft Edge provides AI-powered writing assistance with spelling, grammar, and synonym suggestions 
across the web, helping you write confidently. Enable editor features, open settings, go to languages and enable text prediction, grammar, spell check, assistance, set it to Microsoft editor and enable use synonyms for spelling suggestions. If you got any value from this video, please don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video helpful, then this video will be even more helpful.